paper. That spells out coronavirus. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy! Are you writing bad stuff about me? Of course I am, you immunity deprived pale, big nose, thick headed freak. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy! When can we get coronavirus again? I don't feel like going to school tomorrow. When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've compiled enough dirty information about Peppa Pig. Well done, Mummy Pig. No. We can go put coronavirus in the computer. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest sc 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 score ever. <laughs> <laughs> my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick. Virus alert. Virus alert. Phew. Is your work all right, Mummy? No, you stupid morons gave my computer coronavirus. Ooh! We're not stupid if that's what we were trying to do. Not just one... Coronavirus. Lots and lots of... Lots and lots coronavirus. of... Coronavirus. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow! wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? The title is Coronavirus, Ebola and SARS. Mummy Pig has arrived. At the torture dungeon. With lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. Trust me, I wouldn't have come if you didn't threaten to call a SWAT team. Children, Mum has worked hard to write this book. So, we must listen politely. Like the thick heads we are. Thank you. It's about a, a pandemic. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a pandemic called coronavirus and everyone was quarantined. 4768593 Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. How lazy can you pigs get? This is not what I wrote. What is 4768593? It's George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High School. I arrest people who beat my score. But where's my pandemic story? It's gone. I'm sorry, children, but I can't read anything because I never learned how to read. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was a pandemic called coronavirus and everyone was quarantined. <laughs> All it wanted was to have everything for itself by forcing them to quarantine, and its plan worked. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. I should really try to quit this job. I hate it so much. Oh, I see. Carry on. Coronavirus said, I will devastate the world so everything can be mine. He met a tomato. The tomato said, I'll go home as long as you don't get me sick. But people still got coronavirus. <laughs> he met a banana who said, I'll go home as long as you don't ruin my job. But jobs were still ruined. <laughs> coronavirus was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? I have developed a vaccine. I will force everyone to eat citrus fruits. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, You should start to fall down and then spike in late June and July. Before we continue the video, make sure to buy my new merch. So, there's a little Let's 
With plenty of coronavirus. Today, Pepper is going to the park. <laughs> it's freezing cold. It is cold. <laughs> Quick, let's get our warm clothes on. And scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone is uglier than me. Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. This is the park. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy. Who said you could come? Who said you could be uglier than this monster? In the autumn, coronavirus season starts again. Oh, it's quite windy. It's very time to keep warm. <laughs> my turn. Oh. The ball hates my coronavirus. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> Who's the cold one now? Who's the ugly one now, you clod? You are you hideous dictator of my life. 
Be careful, Daddy Pig. No one needs to listen to you because you are a hideously horrific peasant. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. I hope it blows coronavirus bacteria towards you. No. The wind has blown George's hat off. I'm sad because now I have to see more of your hideous face. I'm about to throw up from those eight seconds of exercising. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. <laughs> so, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I go back to school and not to drop out of kindergarten again. <laughs> I, I was the ridiculous Claude. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose you want me to slap you. <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> you better cover up those disgusting ears, you Claude. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> The wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me! I am a savage. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough Make to make everyone a savage. Daddy, have a go! Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. <laughs> Come on, Daddy! It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. I can now be identified as the savage as I have seen danger and coronavirus. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped.